Our next guest is a longtime TV journalist. We've enjoyed her on ESPN. I can't believe it's been more than 15 years. Hannah Storm, it is great to have you here. It's great on to be On Good Morning with America, you. we go back a long way. We sure do. I know there's something very important that you want to share with folks. Yeah, I do. Um, back in, and I, listen, you're the one that said make your mess your message, mm -hmm. right? So I'm so happy to talk to you about this. Back in uh, November, I had a mammogram. I've been really good about that my whole life. I probably had 20 more than that mammograms, mm -hmm. never a big deal. Um, so I was, it was my yearly breast cancer screening. Um, I kind of didn't hear anything at first, and I thought that was a little odd. Usually you hear right away, everything's fine. So I basically tracked down the, the place where I had it. I was like, you know, what, what's going on? And they said, well, you know, you have dense breasts. We need you to have an mm -hmm. ultrasound. That's very common, you know, yeah. about 40% of women have that, and I'd had that before. So I go, I have an ultrasound. I wait, take my time through the holidays. Um, come back, have my ultrasound in, in early January, and they come back right away this time, and they say, well, you know, we're seeing something, we don't think it's anything. You know, it's, it's probably nothing at all, but we'd like you to have a biopsy. So I'm back a week later for a biopsy, and call came less than 24 hours later. The doctor said, I'm so surprised, but you have ductal carcinoma in situ. You have DCIS, the earliest form of breast cancer. And I was like, DCIS? I've never heard of this in my life. How did you that's handle the, that? That's the people, story. I mean, no one it was, wants to hear that. When they, when it, they, what was it going when you, when you heard that? It's great. I was shocked because, again, I had had mammograms every year. I have no risk factors. I have no breast cancer mm -hmm. in my family. I did not have a lump. I did not have pain. I don't have any genetic predisposition to breast cancer. And what I came to learn is the vast majority of women who are diagnosed with breast cancer don't have risk factors. And so I, I gotta say, I was shocked. I was scared. And how are you today? I'm good, really good. Really, really good. I'm very, very, very lucky because they found it so early. And that is what is so key is to, yes. is to, find, to find it early like that. And there are a few options there for, are. Of when you have it at that stage. Yes. So what did you yes. decide to do? By the way, it's a 99% survival rate. That's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I know so many people who don't have mammograms who, who are scared to have mm -hmm. them. I, I don't want them to be scared. I want them to be scared not to have this information. <laughs> right. um, what I had is a lumpectomy, which meant uh, they did some further, further testing. I actually had two spots uh, that had cancerous cells. It means that the cancerous cells are inside the duct, but they haven't, they haven't gotten out. Mm. So it's not invasive. You know, it's not, it's not malignant. So they can go in and do something called a lumpectomy, which is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Go in and kind of scoop it out. Um, they got all the healthy tissue around right. it to make sure you know, that clean it wasn't margins, spreading. Clean margins. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And the, you have to wait a while. The surgery was successful. Um, I was able to go back to work, cover the Super Bowl, which was a real blessing. And then you have to decide, what are you going to do after, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it used to be that women who had this, pretty much everybody had radiation. And there are now new tests that they can do with your cells, looking at the biology and behavior of your cells, and not everybody needs radiation, which is amazing, right? Mm -hmm. All this new research, some of it is actually dialing back, right, on some of the treatment. Um, I'm also taking a drug called tamoxifen, tamoxifen. that blocks uh, all the estrogen and progesterone, which apparently my cells feed off of that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some people's do and some people's don't. So I'm taking a, um, I'm taking this for the next three years. And you, and you said because this happened at the end of last year and the beginning of this year, yeah. having the surgery and that, and right. have been done a wonderful job and, and keeping it private with your yeah. wonderful husband, Dan, and mm -hmm. your three daughters and your ESPN family, close right. circle of friends. Yeah, but, almost nobody I told. Right, yeah. but, but now you've decided because you know how important it is, as you said, to let women know the importance of getting those screenings. This is how you find it. You find it through getting your yearly mammograms. This is how you find out that you have breast cancer. And if you find out that you have it in the earliest form, it's so treatable. There's so much that you can do about it. But I know mm -hmm. so many women who don't have their yearly mammograms. I know a lot of women who are afraid of it or 
you know, we're busy, we have kids, we have jobs, maybe you're taking care of your parents. It's really hard to schedule that. Sometimes the last person that you wanna take care of is yourself. Yeah right? Mm -hmm. But it's so important to advocate for your health and to know and to have this knowledge and to understand all the advances that are being made in breast cancer. Great strides have been yes. made and I've heard of women who say as a group that every year they get together, they make it an event. They go yeah. out to lunch after and just if you, you know, just understand the importance of that and the, and the sisterhood. And the more that you talk about it, and I think just demystify it, and exactly. it's okay to talk about, it's okay to share, mm -hmm. you know, at whenever you're ready. And, That's okay. and you have three daughters. And I have three daughters, yeah. and that makes it even more important, it right? Does. Because you want to think about your family. There they are. Yes, there we are at Martha's Vineyard this summer. That's a pretty good selfie, don't you think? <laughs> that, we did? that was actually our Christmas card. No editing. This year. You didn't edit it. That's the real. No, no, no. no that was it. <laughs> no editing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But, um, you know, I think about having daughters, too, and the importance of mm -hmm. them understanding, you know, advocating for their health and what you can do, you know, there. And as you know, in this family, this GMA family that has been touched by cancer on mm -hmm. so many levels, you know, there's not testing for all cancers. There's testing for this. You can find out and you need to find out. And don't be afraid to have a mammogram. Be afraid not to. Mm. Be afraid of what you don't. No. Yeah, not right? what you can't find out. Yeah. Hannah, it You're is so best. wonderful to see you. You're the best. So Make you. your mess your message, right? <laughs> I mean, thank you for sharing it. that. You're yes. doing it. You're doing it. And I, I can guarantee you there are women that are going to be watching right now. They're scheduling their mammogram. I thanks hope so. to you. I hope thanks so. To you. Please do. Please yeah. do. All right. My best to Dan and the girls. Yeah, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.